Who is faster? In the garden of the cozy yellow house, where a kind family lived, a big white lily grew in a flower bed. Every morning, all the inhabitants of that small but charming garden gathered by the flower together to have a wash and drink some fresh dew. One day, ant, beetle, and snail made a bet about which of them could get to the flower first. The friends lived under the porch of the yellow house, and a small sandy path led to the flower bed. Each of them knew the way to the flower by heart, but ant and beetle were supremely confident of their victory. Of course I'll be the first to get there. Ant immediately began to boast. It's no secret that ants are both strong and speedy. Though small, we can run from one anthill to another in no time. What's more, we can carry a load fifteen times heavier than our own weight without effort. And we're perfect at navigating even the most complex labyrinths. No, I'll be the winner," Beetle said proudly. "Even though I'm small and can't fly great distances, I can fly over small obstacles." There was truth in Beetle's words too. Although the road to the flower was short, there could be unforeseen obstacles on the way. For example, last week the family left a garden hose on the path. It was a real challenge for ant and snail to crawl over it yesterday. The hose was wet, slippery, and totally unsuitable for moving along it. But while Beetle and Ant were arguing and claiming their superiority over each other, Snail was slowly but confidently sliding forward along the path. It was a long distance for Snail, so she didn't waste precious time boasting. One pebble was already behind her, and another one. Look, Snail is already heading towards the flower, and has taken the lead. Hurry up, we have to catch up with her. Shouted Ant as he ran forward, with Beetle close behind. So the friends started their race and rushed to reach the goal. Beetle and Ant quickly caught up with Snail. She was inching forward, avoiding being distracted. They stopped, laughed at her. And ran on. No offense, Snail, but you'll never move fast," shouted Beetle, looking back at her. The friend's words did not hurt Snail. She knew that Beetle and Ant didn't mean any harm. They were only joking with her. Snail slowly but confidently continued to move towards the goal. One more pebble was behind her, and another one. Halfway there, 
Ant saw something red and fragrant lying in the grass near the path. The kids have probably dropped some candy again. I think I'll stay here for a minute and enjoy it. After all, I'm the fastest, and no one can get past me," thought Ant as he left the path. But Ant's joy was short-lived. The candy was not only tasty, but also sticky. Ant's legs stuck to the sugary treat, and he could not run any further. At first, Ant tried as hard as he could to escape from the sticky captivity. But finally, he calmed down and gave up. After a while, Beetle ran past Ant. "Will you help me?" asked Ant. Sorry, friend, but I don't have time. I want to win the bet and get to the flower first," answered Beetle as he disappeared around the turn. But on Beetle's path, under a branch of a bush, lay a small stone. The stone was just a little bit higher than he was, so. Beetle was not at all worried. I'll just get up some speed and fly right over it," thought Beetle, buzzing his wings. Beetle gathered speed and flew up. But a new obstacle lay in wait for him above the stone. There, early in the morning. Spider had weaved his web to have enough time to catch a fly for dinner. Beetle found himself in a trap and could not get himself free. Hey, Spider! Quick, help me get unstuck! Please hurry, or I won't be the first to reach the flower. Said Beetle with annoyance as he dangled on the web, waiting for Spider. Meanwhile, the little snail slowly but confidently was inching towards the goal. She avoided being distracted by anything, and did not try to find an excuse to stop. Another pebble was left behind, and another one. Snail moved past Ant, stuck to the candy, and winked at him with a smile. Was that you laughing at me earlier? She asked as she inched along. Pay no attention to me. I'm just resting," Ant answered proudly as he again tried unsuccessfully to move his legs. After a while, Snail slid past the stone with the spider web. Spider was diligently trying to unstick Beetle. Who gloomily hung and watched Snail go by? You just got lucky," shouted Beetle. Or maybe you were just boasting too much," answered Snail as she continued on. At last, Snail reached the flower. Although she was not as fast as the others in the garden, she managed to have a wash and drink the dew, because, on the way to the flower, Snail was not trapped by any dangers. 
Then she turned around and went to help her friends. Another pebble was left behind, and another one. Snail was on the move. <laughs>